I would like to talk some NFL today, too, at some point. Because, man, the Who Days, they are an interesting team. I'll tell you that much. However, uh, I'm not completely sold on them. A lot of, you know, Bengals fans I've been talking to are, of course, very excited. And I think you should be excited. There's a lot to be excited about. But let's be realistic here. This team, they are what they are, you know, at the end of the day. (laughs) You know, and if you're a fan of the Bengals, you don't. You just know. You know what they're capable of. So, I mean, yes, they've shown some very good things, especially in the passing game. I mean, Jamar Chase has been so much better than I thought he was going to be. I was high on him in the draft. I was like, look, we either get Jamar Chase or Devontae Smith or you get Sewell. Those are the only three guys I think we should pick up. If we get anybody else than that, it's a, it, it, it's, it's, it's a red flag. And they picked Jamar Chase, and I'm like, it's a good pick. I'm like, you know, it's just another weapon. And he's a guy that had... Uh, you know, chemistry with Joe Burrow, obviously at uh, LSU. So that was pretty clutch. And, you know, it's, um, it's really been cool to see him, you know, become a, a really, really excellent receiver here in these, in the early uh, parts of the season. I mean, teams have really got to start looking at him because I mean, they, the Ravens had to just straight up play zone for the entire third and fourth quarter of this game simply because they could they couldn't stop Jamar Chase in one on one. In man to man coverage, they couldn't stop Jamar Chase. I mean, man, it was very impressive. Marlon Humphrey had a very hard day, man. He was getting beat up and down the field. And I mean the Baltimore to me, man, I, I just have not been that sold on this team. They're showing me, I mean, they're just getting weaker and weaker every year, in my opinion. Lamar's getting better. It's like the graph for Ravens success and Lamar Jackson, um, you know, success, the Ravens defense and Lamar Jackson are on two different trajectories right now. The Ravens defense is getting worse and Lamar Jackson is getting better. So it's like, it's getting into a tough spot where like, and their offensive line is getting worse as well. They can't run the ball, obviously, because, you know, they're two young backs are up. But even so, like, you know, they got still have Devontae Freeman. And, like, he had a pretty okay game. He had that touchdown. But it was just like Lamar's the only guy that can run the ball on this team. Which, I mean, may you know, can get you far. But ultimately, like, the Bengals' defense just was really impressive yesterday. And they have been really impressive this season. I mean, again... They've made mistakes defensively, but I would say it's been it's been pretty successful for them. Oh shoot, oops, I have to go to the map. But I think they've been pretty successful at you know the pass rush has been really good. You know Hubbard's look good, and Hendrickson had a really good game, and Logan Wilson has been excellent, obviously in coverage, and also you know he had a really good. Uh, couple of run stops as well and he played a really good spy on Lamar at times they had him spying Lamar at times so you know I I like I like a lot of the schemes the Bengals did defensively in this game and their defense is is really impressive so it's just you know it's I think it's contingent on that at this point because we know they can't run the football very well I mean even though they did yesterday you know I think the stat sheet shows that the maybe their run game was a little bit more successful than it actually was um, you know, I'd say they had probably three or four good runs. I'd say Mixon had, you know, two or three of those. And then obviously the P. Ryan touchdown. So, I mean, you know, it, it was better this week. But again, it's 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 still a red flag for me, the, 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 the run game. And ultimately, when you play in the playoffs in the NFL, especially in the FC, you got to be able to run the football. Like, it's just, it, it's a no-brainer. And I don't know. I'm just not that confident that this team can do that. If I'm being completely honest, I mean, in the in a again, you know, in a playoff situation, you know, not the way that Tennessee can, other teams can. So I don't know. Look, I, I, I you know, I'm being realistic here. I, I'm very excited for this team, the Bengals. I think they're they're very impressive. They're a lot better than I thought they were going to be already this season. So there's that, and now they have a lot of momentum behind them. I mean, this was a huge win. On the road against a team that looked very good the week before, the Ravens. But, I mean, again, I think the Ravens just quit in this game. And that's the thing that's concerned. I'd be concerned about if you're a Ravens fan. I mean, 
they straight up quit in this game in the, th in the, the towards the end of the third quarter. I know they were down two or three scores, but I mean, come on, like that P Ryan touchdown that run, like that you could literally just see the Ravens giving up. And yeah, for all the people saying that this is a Super Bowl team, this Baltimore Ravens team, I'm just not buying it again. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they come back the run at the end of the season and, and look really good. It's possible, but again, I'm just. I'm not really, uh, you know, if you're a Ravens fan, I, I would not be blown away with this performance at all. You know, but that's just me. Um, but again, the Bengals look really good. Not going to not gonna put them down, you know, like I usually do, but that's because they deserved it. And in this game, they didn't. They looked like a legit team this, in this game. So we'll see what happens. I mean, they've, they look, remember, they lost to Chicago. And now Chicago is, is is a really bad team. Uh, you know, they they, uh, they lost to Green Bay in that game. They definitely should have won. You know, they lost, uh, you know, they almost lost uh, to, the, to the Jags, and I was at that game. They were down two scores at halftime. So, I mean, look, I mean, the Bengals... We'll have to see what happens, but I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm not, uh, yeah, the jury's out, but again, at the same time, I, I think that they are, the jury is starting to convene and saying that this is an interesting team at least, and I think in a season or two, be merciful. What am I to do? A poor wretch whose home was burnt to ashes by Sigismund's horde. God be with you. How does life in Ratai suit you? I suppose it was kind of them to take us in. But then they just left us to fend for ourselves. Nobody gives a damn about us. Did you find out what actually happened? Folks say it was on the um, silver and how Sir But yeah. The um But yeah, I mean uh There's a lot to like there for for the Bengals. I'll say that much. There's a lot to like. We'll see what happens when they play Cleveland because they play the Jets next week. So they, sh if they lose that game, they're frauds. Uh, but I don't think they're going to lose. I think they're going to beat the Jets, be six and two, and be playing Cleveland at home. And I might be going to that game. Maybe I don't know. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe. So we'll see. Um, it's a it's a hard maybe, but a possibly. But uh, yeah. The, the jury's out. We'll see what happens with the Cleveland game. And, and obviously, I want to see them really spank the Jets and just and really give, have another just blowout win. They just need to start really establishing themselves. Like, they have a lot to play for right now. They got, a ch you know, the chip on their shoulder, as people like to say. Like, that's what they're, like, all the, uh, you know, the pundits, the analysts like to say. He's playing with a chip on their shoulder. Yeah. I guess you could say that this time around. God, everybody's on their knees around here. 